Look, a rabbit. A boat. You won't have to go swimming after all. The locals probably get around mainly by boats. Okay, Artyom, I'll climb up there while you take the boat to the church. I'll call you when I'm settled. So please keep your weapons sheathed and from here either. Silantius locked us up here a year ago. Yes, the bridge dwellers won't even talk to heretics. But I'll tell you everything I've seen in this place all that year. Oh, it's the bridge guard. Silantius fooled them just like the locals. But unlike them, the bridge guard have guns. Run! There's a way out down here and there's a boat at the dock. We also have one, but it's too small for all of us. Artyom, she's right. Get to the boat. We will rescue her later. Don't worry. Go! Nothing. I can get near trees by myself. Mommy, mommy. Of course. So, where is that heretic? He came by 
boat during the sermon. And then what? Well, he, he was just there and then he kind of disappeared. And just like Father Salentia said, the man was sent by the devil. Yeah, I know. I know what Father said. Well, he just... <laughs> I'm changing position to meet the woman and child. I know you can handle this just fine. Not yet! Keep looking! The heritage is still in here! As we strengthen our spirit and strike down those amongst us that you find unworthy, but bestow a blessing of long life upon those worthy to serve the true faith. Are you sure that was a heretic? Well, what else? They say it was Satan himself. <laughs> and you believe them? Well, they say that as soon as Father Salentius finished his sermon, there was a flash of hellish light and the heretic just finished. <laughs> Come on, you dirty spawn of Satan! No, Come they didn't. On, but they say that the satanic anymore. machine has a vat with sulfur and a vat with oil in it. And whoever gets seduced by the heretics gets boiled in one of them. Have you seen the heretic system? <laughs> so you have seen him? <laughs> the heretic? <laughs> well, just, just shoot me. Come on! I wish you'd just shot me. Uh, my daughter and my son are dead. Salantius wouldn't let us treat them. Katia, that ex-nurse, she said she could help them, but Salantius would rather let them die slowly. Vanya was smiling when he died. He said his sister was calling out to him. And she'd been dead for two days already. Yeah, fuck this life. Just shoot me already. Come on, shoot me, you fucker. Looks like there is someone standing. Fish protect us. Huh? 
What's going on? There, at the pillar. Huh? There's something there. What's going on? And Lord willing, we will find him. Praise be the fish. There he is! Just don't shoot. I give up. Don't, don't you see? He doesn't look like a bandit. So even if he kills me, there won't be torture. Maybe. That's not so bad. Just keep calm now. I give up. bloodshed. They're bound to hate us even more now. Ah, oh, well. Artyom, Katya, and Nastya are with me now. See you aboard the Aurora. Check the map. Looks like you can row straight to it from there. What the fuck was that? A whale? It's fucking huge! The old man sent me out as a forward sentry. Told me that I was to sit tight and under no circumstances look for any action. So I just had a front row seat watching you there. 
And so you subdue the occupation forces peacefully with a holy cross and a prayer. <laughs> Anna has already reported on the cult. How about we trade places? I'd hate to come back to Moscow without even firing once. I was trying to win a girl over from one trader. Tough luck there. Why does everybody else get fun missions? The colonel does criticize you and all, but he gives you all the best action. Is this his way of showing affection or trying to get you killed? But I have to say it's unfair. I've been dragged out of Moscow and for what? Stalking the furnace and sitting in a bog with a dumb spyglass. Here, though, we do have a chance of finding some loot. There is this plane there. Just leave something for me. I'll have to stay longer, I suspect. The shrimps are giving me trouble, though. I wish I could somehow talk to that catfish into chomping all those water bugs. How did Mowgli talk to the animals, I wonder? Speaking of Mowgli, we have the same blood type, you and I. Haven't you noticed? <laughs> well, I guess you have to go now, Artyom. I feel your father-in-law training his binoculars on us to turn us into pillars of salt. landed on that field. We were still flying and it looked like we could have gone on for some time. And then that damn power line. But really, what difference does that make anyway? We're not getting to Moscow from here, that's for sure. I don't really give a damn. I'm all alone with the others. There's relatives there. Maybe. It's been ten years, but I could still be alive. We'll have to make ourselves at home here now, since we're alive. The bridge seems like a nice place. At least it's not going to get flooded. We might end up going to Moscow by rail later. Well, we'll have to live and see about that.
Here's RTM back from the abyss of NATO occupation. You're alive! <laughs> Impressive after the horrors Duke told us about. Let's go. Dad's talking to Katya right now. They are so nice. Both Katya and her daughter. And Katya's medical training will come in handy. Thank you for the information, Katya. But there is one more question I need to ask. But of course. What do you know of the occupation forces? Huh? I'm sorry, I don't quite get what you... So, you've never seen any foreign army in this area? No, I haven't seen any army. But we haven't really been to any important places. I see. Hmm. Artyom, a moment. Thank you, Artyom. If not Artyom, for you, we'll stop never by my desk once place. you're done talking to the old man. I've got something for you. Great job saving them, Artyom. Katya here has provided us with vital information. A mechanic called Crest is hiding in the port. His help is required if we are to fix the Aurora in the foreseeable future. Yermak can't handle the repairs alone. So, once you're ready, go to the port and invite Crest to join us. And then get back ASAP. We'll have to decide what to do about the fanatics on that bridge. Now we know for sure that the bridge is in working order. They crossed it last year when they got here. Well, at least some things are clearer now. But still, so many questions. <sighs> there might not even be any enemy forces around here at all. They probably get us in the key regions only. <sighs> in any case, we'll learn everything once we reach Yamantau. From the top source. The Moscow government is essentially a local council to put things in perspective. So, now we just need to figure out how to cross this goddamn bridge. Are you still here, Artyom? You really should move out to port soon. Yes, Uncle Artyom. Thank you. And your wife is great. She's kind and really strong. Thank you, Auntie Anna. There you go, Artyom. As I always said, you lucked out with me. We all locked out with Anna. She's a total dead-eye. Now I only wish your mom could come with us too. With a real medic, we'd become unstoppable. <laughs> <laughs> Katya, Nastya, come have some tea. Don't be shy. Thank you. Artyom, uh, I took some measurements. There is one hell of a radioactive hotspot between this place and the port. The readings are off the scale. So you better take a boat. We found one and docked it under the bridge. Well, unless you're afraid of the monster. Duke told us over the radio. Artyom? <laughs> afraid? Bullshit. Besides, the monster is just a catfish. After the nuking, the fallout got washed off into the rivers and settled down the sediment. Catfish are bottom dwellers, so they got hit worst. Well, this one wasn't so bad, by the way. I was careful and never got attacked. I, I don't think it will attack if you keep quiet. It's no alligator, after all. By the way, did you see any of those? Uh, back in the States, I mean. It's not like they were all over the place there, like bears in Russia. You know? Though I've been to Florida once and visited an alligator farm there. I haven't seen one since I joined the Marines, though. Middle East, Moscow, the Embassy, you know. I heard Miller saved you from a lynching. When shit hit the fan? Yep. I'd rather not talk about it, though. So, Katya. 
How do you like the backpack? Is it comfortable? Can you operate stealthily with it? I have a present for you here. A Tihar rifle. Ring any bells? It's pneumatic, but it still pecks a wallop. Plus, making bullets for it is easy as pie, even in the field. Just remember to keep that pressure up. Otherwise, you might as well be spitting him out yourself. Other than that, it will never fail you. I did my best. So, bear it with honor. <laughs> and don't forget to drop by from time to time. I have a few ideas for improving it. Fanatics were in control now. And they say this place used to be great. Did you come with your husband? There were 15 of us. But now only Nastya and I are alive. Oh, I'm sorry. Hey, why are you so gloomy? Don't you like the tea? I do. Oh, when the gargoyle attacked, Nastya lost her teddy. The beast carried it away. Oh, must have thought it was alive. Oh, don't you worry. We'll find your teddy. Huh, we call them demons in Moscow. And we'll call them gargoyles. Artyom, are you going to the port? I am going to relieve Alyosha now, so I can't come with you. His hand is still giving him trouble. So Katya being a nurse is just perfect. It will make convincing Dad to take them along so much easier. I'm going to talk to him about that later. Besides, he doesn't really want to leave them here himself. I can see that. But he's so hung up on those occupying forces, he can't even think of anything else. All right, you go run that errand for my father now. Just be careful out there. You know I worry about you. Hello again, Artyom. You did great out there. Or so everyone says. <laughs> in the meantime, we have dug in here. We've been waiting for the occupying forces. But so far, we have only seen winged and four-legged ones. <laughs> Our ecology seems to sit badly with them. <laughs> Some bandit-looking characters in the distance, too. So, Artyom, are you going to the port? There's nobody there. At least, I haven't seen any normal people. But there sure are mutants, so you'd better take care. Take care? Artyom? The scourge of the Dark Ones? <laughs> Go get them all, Artyom. They'd better hope they can run fast enough. By the way, Alyosha, my friend. That Katya lady Anna brought in? She's a nurse, so maybe you should have her look at your wound, huh? It'd make a great opener for getting acquainted, you know? Damn. What do I even do about this? I could replace the cylinder, but there's just no spare. I've got to fix this one, and I don't even know where to start. It uh, usually takes a whole workshop to fix things like that. So you're going to the port to look for that mechanic? Uh, please, do your best. Otherwise, we might as well get used to this place. <laughs> 